Hi, welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 77. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is a big day in the life of White Threads Floss Tube. It's our one year anniversary. Woohoo! Um, that's why I've got this new background at the back here. My mum said to me this morning, I really don't think you should just have the white cupboard behind you. Something more exciting like balloons. And I said, got any balloons so I went through my cupboards and I found this beautiful piece of silk brocade and I've put it up behind me as a celebratory thing because we're one year old today thank you so much for joining me over the past year uh, some of you will have been with me right from the very beginning and thank you so much if you have some of you will have joined me or more recently and I'm really glad you have if you haven't yet subscribed now would be the perfect time to do that because you know we're going from strength to strength we've done a whole year of white threads floss tube already and I can I'm planning to continue to do that. I started this um, one year ago because people were starting to go into lockdown and I thought it would be really actually a very helpful thing, I think, to be able to provide something for people to look forward to, to help them to learn, to keep them entertained in these difficult times we're in. I hope that it has fulfilled that aim, aim and ambition for you. I hope that it has given you something to look forward to each few days. And I know some of us are still in lockdown. We're not here and we are very, very grateful and privileged that that is the case. But I know some of you still are. You've been in and out and you are at the moment. And I'm sorry for that. And I really hope it's going to end soon. So anyway, thank you so much for being with me. I'm really glad we've made it to a year. It has been fun. I didn't know whether it would become a chore. It hasn't yet, and I'm really glad for that. If you've got things for me that you would like me to do videos on, then please let me know. Otherwise, I will just keep doing the same sorts of things as I've been doing, which is showing you pieces of embroidery, showing you some of the books that I like, talking about the things that are in my books, talking about needlework in general, doing tutorials for you sometimes. So hopefully you can uh, stay along for the ride. Ah, wow, a whole year. <laughs> okay, so moving back to last episode, I showed you this bag, which is my uh, Hardanger bag, which has Hardanger over a sheer fabric. And I think I said in the video that I couldn't remember if it had been published previously. Well, the lovely Adele from Queensland got back to me overnight and said, yes, it's been published. I remember seeing it on the cover of Embroidery and Cross Stitch magazine. So I went through all of my old magazines and yeah, here it is. Embroidery and Cross Stitch magazine and it is volume 15 number Three, and I think it's from around 2007 2008 um, so the project was in here um, if you're able to get yourself a copy of it if you want to make it then that's great if you're not and you would like to make it just let me know because I do have all the instructions and I may be able to make them available for you I also have a good stock of the fabric as well so you know if you want to make yours exactly the same as mine I can probably help you do that so that's last episode. Now onto this episode, I have a piece of embroidery to show you today. And this one I'm hoping, oh yes, I was hoping that we'd be able to get it without the light shining on it because this is framed and it's got glass in front of it. I'm trying to get it so, oh, I'm not very good at using these camera things. Okay, so this is a piece of embroidery that I did some years ago for an exhibition. Um, and it uses a piece of Colour Streams felt as the, the fabric that I've stitched on. And then I've used heaps of different stitches out of my stitch dictionaries to go and trace along basically the contours of the colour changes and then to fill in some of the spaces in between. I really, really enjoy doing this sort of embroidery. It is such different work than all of my counted thread white work. Um, but I really enjoy doing that. I, I will try and show you a close-up picture so that you can see it a little bit better.
some of the stitches that we have here are uh, we've got oh I think that's a raised chain band down there this is a herringbone this one oh it's probably something strange like oh, I can't remember no that's um, a herringbone with some tack down stitches it's probably got a name if I looked in one of my stitch dictionaries I'm sure I'd find that uh, we've got buttonhole stitch along here this is a I think a closed chain stitch I really should actually read up on these things before I talk to you about them and it might make me sound a little bit more knowledgeable. All of these stitches are in my stitch dictionaries. This one here is I think Cretan Catch Stitch and it's a fun stitch and one of the things that I particularly like to do when I'm experimenting with stitches is to try and work them in a circle. So that's what I've done with that one there. Here we have buttonhole wheels or half buttonhole wheels that go along. There's some French knots, there's Cretan stitch, these are Sorbello knots in here, you probably can't even see them. Uh, this here is a trellis stitch worked in a circle. There's some cross stitches around it. Here we have, I think that's just, oh, that is an alternating twisted chain stitch, the little yellow one here. We've got feather stitch, this is Palestrina stitch. So there's a whole heap of different stitches there and it was just really fun to try them out. I mean, I've done them all before, but you know, to use them on this um, and to work with the colored threads on the colored felt. Really, really enjoyable thing to do. So it's something that I can highly recommend. Um, grab all your threads out of your stash and grab a beautiful piece of color streams felt and see if you can work along the contours to make your own design like this. It was lots of fun. Um, I have in the past done a video of me stitching something like this, so I will put a link to that so that you can go and watch that. Um, and yeah, so that's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed the snazzy background. It is a gorgeous piece of fabric and I really do love it. And I've never found a use for it before. I have used it in the background of some of my photography before, but today I'm using it as a background for here from our video. So thanks for joining me for a whole year. Um, hopefully in a year's time, we'll be doing this again, having another birthday celebration. And I'm really glad you've joined me. I'm really glad that I've been able to do this, to share my knowledge, to share some of me with you and to just have some fun talking about embroidery. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.